hello hello friends how are you doing hope you're doing fantastic and i hope you're doing great thank you so much for coming my name is lucy milton and thank you so much for choosing to watch this video so in today's video we're going to do a room refresh living room refresh and cleaning up and basically a general cleaning of this room and some bit of laundry folding and uh, i hope this is the content that you enjoy i know you enjoy these videos because mm -hmm, the views can tell it <laughs> so thank you so much and if you're new here karibu karibu sana please consider consider subscribing to this amazing little channel and your support will be truly appreciated please leave me a like a comment like you always do thank you thank you thank you so much so you've started by removing this carpet as you as some of you may know i've been hosting my niece and nephew and my sister-in-law and uh -huh, it can be messy especially for the niece and nephew because they are young and uh, and adding my baby my toddler oh my goodness yes it was a total total mess and i needed to refresh this living room because there was uh, food particles everywhere dust and uh, so many kind of you know dirty things and uh, it was time yes guys it was time to refresh this room and uh, so uh huh i've started by removing the carpet and now i'm going to dust the the tv stand so this tv stand is kind of tricky to wipe and clean down because you can see the material the wood the type of material that is built so if you don't wipe it properly you'll kind of see the watermarks and where uh, the the cloth or the cleaning cloth passed through so i need to be very careful to, uh, with which kind of tablecloth i'm going to use to clean the tv stand i hope you're getting me guess So I also didn't forget this fake plant. So guys, it's a fake plant. <laughs> I can't be a good mom plant. Actually, I have an aloe vera outside in the balcony and I rarely water, the, water it. <laughs> so I don't think that any plants can survive under my care. So I um, also uh, wiped down those uh, decor because they were kind of dusty. It was a long time since I wiped them down. And I wipe the shelves too, just carefully because these things are not that sturdy or strong. So I can put a lot of um, force or pressure on them. And the baby was really, really putting me on my toes. They wanted to take this uh, decor and flowers and I could it risk because <laughs> he, he, has, he has already broken my vase. I have a vase, guys, a flower vase, and he broke it. And I didn't want to risk uh, him breaking this other stuff. They are the remaining ones <laughs> and it's i'm so lucky because they're up there otherwise huh, we could have been talking another story yes it's just that he can't reach up there otherwise hmm, i don't know but anyway i i'm enjoying each and every stage and i understand so he's just a curious little boy so yeah guys as i was saying this material or this yeah tv stand material the one that has been used to build it it's kind of very tricky so i have to like wipe it on a daily and uh, do not i won't use lots of water because if i do it it will start peeling yeah so just use a, a table cloth and my dining area as you can see it was messy we have everything on top of it so this uh, dining area works as our study table uh, where we eat our food. Yeah, it's multi-purpose. <laughs> and also going to see it's where I used to fold. I, I folded my clothes on. Yeah, I'm really, really loving it. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying the video.
the first time all over again hold on tight to the feeling but it's a roller coaster in my head so i'm holding myself on a precipice and i've been dreaming off the ground so i'm looking for something that's definite i'm praying you don't So here guys are toys being everywhere and anywhere at any time is the norm of the day so you just change the position you get, in, you get them from the dining table you put them on the coffee table you have them the coffee table then you put them back to the dining table you get it <laughs> because even if you put them where they're supposed to be it won't last for long guys i promise you that it won't last for long so i am wiping down the coffee table so that i can start like cleaning like proper cleaning of the floors yeah Now that I'm done with the wiping down of everything, uh, the table, the TV stand and everywhere, it's time to clean the floors and of course I'm going to start by pulling my seats aside like away from the wall so that I can sweep behind those walls because guys uh, they tend to be some weird things, yes weird things behind these seats. <laughs> you know, I always find pens, crayons um i don't know just weird things like you can see maybe floors dental floors some food so if i don't pull the seats it will be like i've done zero work because there's still some dirt uh -huh, in the living room so this is a routine i always do this i pull all the furniture aside and clean each and every corner by doing that i ensure that the living room is sparkling clean and i'm sure about it especially when I do it by myself, yes, yeah. But when you do it yourself, you know that the living room is clean. So, guys, please uh, don't mind those wires that are running across the living room. So they are the area that the TV area and the internet cables. Yep, yeah. I've tried my best to put them in order, but you can see I'm failing at that. But when I pull back the seats, you're not going to know who will know. Who gonna know? Who is going to know? Huh? Who is that visitor is that is going to come and peep and look behind the seats? Huh? Are you that kind of visitor that come and pull the seat? I don't think so. So when I pull back the seats, no one is going to do. But anyway, I'm going to try my best and uh, put the wires in order. But I promise you guys, I tried my best, honestly. Huh? We put back those, who are the Tic Tacs, those um, nails that hold the, uh, the wires together. But it seems that they're not strong enough but anyway that's the best that you have done but i think we're going to it's a, we have a room to do better right yes but i don't think you're going to see that when you come and visit <laughs> So 
So like for instance here, uh -huh, baby had poured porridge and you know when, when porridge dries and sticks somewhere, it's kind of hard to remove it. So as I really, really scrubbed that place, so I ended up pouring some water so, uh, so that it can soak and it can come off easily. So this is what I'm saying by drawing the seeds. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that you find behind those seeds. But yeah, so this is a general cleaning again guys leave my wires alone <laughs> that we are done on the living room area and now we go to the this side of the dining area and guys it was a general cleaning yes so we have to pull each and every furniture aside and clean so guys did i tell you the mixer that i used to clean the floors so i used some bleach and some detergent like the yeah the normal detergent and some fabric softener so that you can leave the floors clean and smelling nice yeah that's what i use what do you use well to clean your floors so that's what i use guys just a mixture of bleach by the way guys i love using bleach to clean my wall my my floors i love bleach so i also love the smell that bleach leaves yeah you know that uh hospital smell <laughs> the smell of bleach yeah i love it guys yes do you love it i don't know it just give me that sense of cleanliness it gives me the idea that the floors are clean i don't know that's the idea yeah that's how that's how i think that's how i feel i feel like the bleach uh, scent or yeah the bleach scent uh, giving me the idea that 
the room is clean and no jumps. I don't know. That's yeah. You just tell me in the comment section. So guys, I really really prefer using this mop. Is this a mop dust or just a mop? Yeah. <laughs> so I really really love using this mop because it does not put a lot of pressure or strain on my back than using that normal duster where you have to bend over completely and mop the floor. So this really helps because I don't have to bend over and uh, so that thing, the upper thing of this mop bucket broke so that's why I have to squeeze the mop using my hands but it's still so much better. Yeah, so so much better than using a duster where you just have to bend over. So uh, using a duster actually is much faster i think i tend to think than using a mop but um, i'll rather uh, wash uh maybe 30 minutes slower or 10 minutes slower than use a mop because after this cleaning guys my back was on fire and mind you i was in i was using the mop what if i used that dust and bend over hmm? So these are the issues that my mom was uh, uh, complaining about or she still com complains about and here I am <laughs> in my 20s. Huh? In my 20s guys and I've joined her in this struggle. Oh my god, what is this? What is happening to my body? Huh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But anyway guys, I try as much as possible and not put so much strain on my on my back But I still do by pulling these heavy things. I don't know what I'm actually complaining about because I am the reason Yeah, I am the reason. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoying the video Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Oh, oh, yeah
guys can you spot the amount of dirt that came off from that living room uh -huh. and i still have not dusted that carpet yeah it was kind of a messy situation yes it was that dirty so i'm thinking of uh-huh just uh, refreshing this carpet and putting it back like that's like just how i did with the black and white uh, carpet can you remember that guys yeah so i'm thinking of doing the same because it's not that that it's not that actually the carpet is not dirty it has, it has not lasted for two weeks or so or maybe three so it's kind it's clean it's just that it has some food particles and i don't want to vacuum it i have i want to like refresh it give it a revamp huh? <laughs> a cleaning revamp so that's what i'm thinking of doing and um dusting it off and uh, wiping it with my favorite carpet uh, uh shampoo and upholstery you know that yeah so i swear by that uh shampoo it does a great job and it smells so nice so that's what i'm thinking of doing it of doing to this carpet and put it back yeah So this balcony or is it a veranda is my favorite favorite part to clean yes it uh, gives me the, the idea that i'm almost done with the cleaning also i don't have to pull any kind of furniture it's just big enough and also it cleans so well can you see so you kind of see the the work that you're doing also guys spot my plant <laughs> so that's the plant that i was talking about it's an aloe vera and a, a tomato plant uh, grew there so that tomato plant is actually what is making me to water it otherwise i I always forget it. I always forget. But luckily, an uh, aloe vera is a succulent plant, so it does not need lots of water. So here is my living room. It's disarranged but clean. Yes. So I prefer a disarranged house but a clean one. Yes, guys. I think you can agree with me. Yeah. Just it smells nice. It's clean. You don't have to step on things when you, when you know. And in the room so here i have my lord of clean laundry that needs to be folded yes i had lots and lots of clothes to fold remember the clothes that i was cleaning the other day yes now they are dried and they need to be folded it's a lot a lot a lot of clothes to fold these are just a portion so guys as you can see i was talking <laughs> with people at the background so yeah, it is actually at night. So I've already taken my shower. I've already cooked. So yeah, guys, uh -huh, there's a lot that that uh, is done behind the camera. So I've already taken a shower. I've already cooked. The kids have the kids have already eaten. Now it's time to fold the laundry. And remember, I told you that I have a multi-purpose uh, dining table. <laughs> So yeah, so on this day it worked as a platform for laundry folding and now that it is clean, sparkling clean, it was just a perfect position or area to do this. So yeah, we were just talking, we are listening to some music and uh, yeah, it kind of gave me the vibe and uh, also the morale and motivation to fold these clothes.
been lonely in my room again I'm Trying to find the words to say but nothing comes out I am looking for the better day It seems like they just stay away whenever I try There's so many things that I keep in my mind My friends keep me out and it hurts every time With all the emotions I built up inside Oh, why can't I? Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time Sitting lonely in my room again Acting like I'm innocent Why do I try? Cause now I'm feeling like a fool again Thinking I can fool myself by telling me lies When there's so many things that I keep in my mind I hang around people I don't even like If they can be happy and walk with a smile Oh why can't I? Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time oh, oh. So this is how I prefer folding my t-shirts because I just hang them in the hanger like this. Is this mm -hmm, vertically? Yeah. So I love uh, folding my t-shirts like that. It makes them so much organized and easier to put them in the hanger. But this one was not ours. It was my sister-in-law. So I just folded it like that. And yeah. How do you fold your clothes guys that's how i do mine yeah i find them to be uh organized and easier to put them in the hang i just put them vertically and so they do not crease a lot they do not crease when i put them uh in vertical position just like that is so much easier. so if you've watched till this point allow me to appreciate you and thank you so much for your time your support your like your comments Thank you so much. I don't take you for granted. Please remember to subscribe if you're new here so that you can have and enjoy such content. Thank you so much and allow me to see you next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you and bye-bye.